My entire jewelry collection is inspired by the steel drums of the Caribbean, which were invented in Trinidad and Tobago more than 50 years ago. My family was one of the original pioneers of this development. My uncle Ellie, who is now in his 80s, was one of the inventors of the instrument, and he is proudly known today as the father of the modern steel drum. So after a successful career as a lawyer and as an energy advisor, I wanted accessories that reflected this particular aspect of my family's history and my background. And so I started to create accessories that reflected various aspects of the steel drum history and culture. One of the first pieces I developed was the steel drum pendant. Now the steel drums in Trinidad emerged in part because of the oil industry that was present there, particularly during the Second World War. And Ellie Manette was, one, was the first person who used the 55-gallon full oil barrel as the basis for the steel drums that he made. And so this pendant actually reflects the full 55-gallon oil drum and it's in sterling silver, and it was the first piece that I designed and wore. The Genesis drum collection reflects the input of the 55-gallon oil barrel into the development of the steel drums. The collection includes a bracelet, a ring, includes this charm bracelet with five different drums on a thick chain link bracelet. And this is actually one of the best pieces that women around the world love to wear. A charm bracelet with five miniature steel drums. The hoop collection is based on the note layouts of different steel drums. If you look at these different steel drums, you'll see that the drums differ in height as well as in the note layouts at the top on the playing surface. And this is to ensure that a full band of steel drums has the range almost equivalent to a grand piano, so you can play any, almost any piece of music in a steel drum band. And the hoops then reflect the note layouts on the playing surface of the different drums. Here we have the chain belt, which is one of the best sellers. It's a very uh, stylish, trendy piece. It can be worn actually as a long necklace. And it's complemented by the charm bracelet, the hoops charm bracelet, which is five different hoops, again representing different note layouts on a lovely toggle clasp bracelet. The hoop cufflinks were actually given as gifts to all world leaders in 2009, and it represents, again, the note layouts in 14 karat gold and sterling silver. The rack collection is inspired by the mobile racks, which are used to transport steel bands during street parades, carnival celebrations, or other festivities. The racks are just cylindrical bars, they are sterling silver alternating with 14 karat gold vermeil, strung together with a, a, a very sort of loose feeling so that when you wear the pieces they move this way, it's like you're wearing a steel drum in a mobile rack. And this collection includes rings, pendants, earrings, bracelets, cufflinks for men, as well as a tie bar and other pieces. A central part of a steel drum band is the engine room or the percussive center. And this is where all the, the, the beats and the rhythm is maintained. So my collection that is inspired by the rhythm center is called the engine room. And it includes the cowbell, the scratcher, and the beat iron. Now the cowbell is a percussive uh, instrument that's used in many bands, but particularly in a steel band, it's used to start the music as well as to maintain the beat. My cowbell necklace called the cloche is five cowbells strung together on a silk and satin cord and it moves as the wearer moves. So just like the cowbell maintains the beat and you can hear the cowbell throughout the steel band, you can hear the music when you wear the cowbell collection. And the cowbell set includes the necklace as well as a matching bracelet, charm pendant and earrings and cufflinks. Showtime Scratcher line is inspired by the Scratcher. Now the Scratcher is a very interesting part of the steel drum band. It's actually 
an, an extension of a homemade grater that is now used to maintain the rhythm in a band. And my, my version of it, of course, is glammed up. I've got uh, sparkling crystals and CZs. So it looks like an evening piece that you can wear out to a special black tie event. The sticks or mallets that are produced to play steel drums have colored tips, very colorful, blues, yellows, oranges, pinks even. And the stick collection within my line also reflects that colorful combination. We have sticks in sterling silver and 14 karat gold, but as well we also have this colorful ends represented by cabochons in blues, in yellows, citrines, as well as peridot and garnet. So the entire collection, as you can see, reflects different aspects of steel drums and steel drum music. And you know, I'm so happy that uh, visitors to the Caribbean have been buying the pieces and wearing them, because as you, as you know, in winter you want some things that reflect the Caribbean, and in summer if you're traveling to the Caribbean you want things that remind you of your trip. And the Lismanet collection is a perfect accessory for that.